What's up guys, Monkey Napkin here, and today, welcome back to Forza, pretty much. So, um, I've been thinking about what I was gonna do with Forza, because a lot of the things that people needed to know, I've already done videos on. I've done the drag video, I've done the sprint and circuit video, and I've done the drift video. So I've pretty much done most of the things that people wanted to see, I've done the money, you know, best way to make money and stuff like that. There's new ways now. I might do one of those videos if people want to see that. But I've been thinking about what I was going to do with Forza. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the first car. But what I want my subscribers or, you know, whoever comments, whoever comes across this video, I want them to type in a car that you want to see and I'll tune it and, you know, fix it up. And I'll describe or I'll show you guys how it drives and you know how fast it is like top speed because I'll do different builds for that car specifically because I know people some people have asked me like where do I get my data from what do I do to you know conclude what I think is the best car for this type of race or that type of race so that's what I'm gonna be doing in these videos so I'm gonna pick the first car which I have to buy so I'm just for the simplicity of the video I'm just gonna pick the first car the Abarth 695 also this is gonna be a short video it's not gonna be very long I just want to kind of make this video so you guys understand what I'm going to be doing with Forza videos and if you guys have any other ideas of what to do for Forza videos because like I said in my last video on Plants vs Zombies I did want to do like a big you know subscriber like online adventure or like an online free roam something you know I wanted to do that but for now this is what I think I'm going to do so if you guys have any other ideas of what kind of videos I can do relating to Forza comment below that'd be awesome also if you like this video please leave the like really appreciate it and I just hope you guys enjoy the series I guess I'll call it a series for now but I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get into it but pretty much I'm gonna make this like a normal circuit race kind of car you know get all the upgrades that you you know you should have in terms of handling uh, since it's gonna be like kind of a circuit race a lot of these cars are actually pretty fast so it's actually better to just work on handling because a lot of the faster cars don't have the best handling it's actually pretty good to go for handling you know with the tuning and stuff like that then you'll kind of figure out what you want or what you need in order to cre increase your speed you know through tuning and stuff like that we're going for the handling right now because the abarth 695 the posto or posto i have no idea but for this kind of car you know it's pretty compact so Handling won't be that big of a deal, honestly. Now you can start worrying about more of the engine and getting the top speed and the acceleration that you want. Wow, this goes all the way up to S1. That's crazy. <laughs> but I think we got all the I think we got all the upgrades, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna equip everything and then we're gonna go out and do a race. We're gonna do a race. Alright, so let's see what race we'll do. We'll just do like one of the first races. From off-road, it's actually pretty it's not bad. It's uh, turning is pretty tight. It doesn't seem like it's too crazy with, in terms of, uh, now we'll do the sprint. It doesn't seem like it's too crazy in terms of um, like slipping or anything like that. The tires seem pretty good. Braking is pretty good. Okay, let's see how this race, or how this goes. Okay, so acceleration is kind of, well, not acceleration, but the launch is pretty, I wouldn't say the best. It's not the best launch. You know, it's kind of, it's okay if you have a, a pretty fast car. In general so launch doesn't matter as much in a you know a full race than it would like a drag race and a drag race you need long but in terms of a circuit race which is what we built this car for it's pretty it's pretty uh, it's it's pretty bad <laughs> it's pretty bad but this is also without tunes and stuff I, I will do the tunes probably in another video because I'm, I'm pretty short on time right now but I just wanted to you know give an example of what I'm gonna be doing and the future videos for Forza Horizon unless you guys think of another idea but for now this is probably what I'm going to be doing you know tune a car put it in a race see how it is give my opinion from how it feels it actually cuts pretty fast through water which is pretty good especially on uh, races where there is a lot of water which there are a couple in Forza Horizon 3 in terms of turning handling this car is amazing it, it really feels pretty good now yes it's true this is a I mean, for an S1, this is this is actually pretty slow, going only 120, 30 miles an hour. It is actually pretty slow, but I guess this car would be, only be good on races with a lot of turns. 
and we have to brake because the braking is amazing and the handling is amazing. So going around turns and things like that would be really good. And the acceleration is not bad either, but because of the top speed being so low, you probably still get caught if there's any sign of a straightaway anywhere in the race. I still gotta learn how to drift too. <laughs> you guys gotta teach me how to drift, man. I suck at drifting. <laughs> yeah, overall this car is it's not bad. It's not too bad. Pretty nice car. I mean, I don't know if you guys knew what I didn't even know Abarth was a company until about I think I played the crew before I played Forza Horizon 2. And that's where I learned about the Abarth, or I don't know if it's said differently or how you would even pronounce it, but that's that's where I found out about this car company, I guess. So I don't know if you guys know about this car, but if you do, I want to know if there's any like supercars that this company makes or anything related to that. That'd be pretty cool. And there it is, guys. That's the end of the race. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, overall, I would say the Abarth 695 is, I would give it like honestly a 3 out of 5 stars. I mean, it has good, pretty good acceleration. Handling's pretty good. Launch could use some work, but overall, it's, it's good around turns. The handling is amazing. The braking is good. But I wish the car had better, wish it had a higher top speed. And that could be fixed with tuning. So, you know, you can kind of get into the whole tuning aspect and you probably fix the car up. The weaknesses that the car has, you can probably fix those up. But this is what I'm going to be doing. And I hope you guys, you know, think of some ideas or what kind of cars you want me to use in the next set of videos. But I hope you guys like it. Leave a like if you did. Really appreciate it. Comment below any other cars or any other ideas you guys have for me making Forza videos. And subscribe if you haven't already for more content like this. I try to upload every day. It doesn't always work out, but I try. So, again, hope you guys like the video. And see you guys later.